Okay, here we go. So um, here are two devices of the 2XM. And um, yeah, the first one is just connected via a USB cable to Logic Pro. And if I play a note, I can hear the module one. I have set it to duophonic here. So it's playing two voices, right? The left and the right one. Uh, I had the panning set to the extreme left and right so you can hear it better. Okay, so um, in order to polychain it, you need to connect the MIDI out of the first device to the MIDI input on the front of the second device with a 5-pin MIDI cable. So let's do that. Okay, and then um, in Synthstripe, uh, let me check. In Synthstripe, you can uh, set it to Polychain here. Uh, you set the number of devices, which is two, and the voice mode, so we want to play it poly, polyphonic, and yeah, then you just click Enable, and see what happens, like um, when it's not enabled, the LEDs on the 2XM are yellow, and if I enable it, they both turn red. And if they both turn red, that, that just confirms that they are connected together. And now, yeah, as you can see uh, in the mixer of Logic, the first note is playing the 2XM number one, which is this. And the second note is playing the 2XM number two, this one. And you see it here, the green LED shows which one is playing. So yeah, that's fine. But how do I get four voices? Because I have four synthesizer modules. And um, yeah, normally I would think that you can play four notes with four modules. But it's just two notes is not, not a problem. But it's all the time two notes, so you don't get four notes, which is a pity. So, yeah, by polychaining um, the devices via this polychain option, um, it just doesn't seem to work. And regardless of what you said here, if you set it to unison, if you set it to split, um, duophonic, it doesn't make a doesn't make a difference really. Yeah, so that's a pity, and um, you need to work your way around this. Yeah, but gladfully, um, if you're using Bitwig, um, you can polychain your devices through the computer and I will show you how. So let's open Bitwig. And this is really cool. New project. Uh, so you can add like a instrument selector and um, this is switching between different instruments and you need to uh, add for each module you add a hardware instrument plug-in here. Let's do that. So the first one is going to the 2XM. Um, which is it? Oh no, that's the wrong one. So here it is, 2XM number 2, channel 1. And the audio is coming back via um, channel number three and let's add another one 2xm number two channel number two audio is channel number three here and so on you, you need to repeat that um, for each of the four voices and then set the uh, midi channel here accordingly Here we go. 
So what happens now is you need to set the voice mode here. Now it's set to manual and I will set it um, to round robin and then each new note will trigger uh, a new voice on the modules here. Like if I play a note, it will trigger this module. If I play the next note, this module and so on. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that seems to work. Need to close it here. Yeah, so you can hear each of the four modules. Um, to prove it, I can set the parameters here differently. Okay, then you can hear it better. Okay, so these are four voices with two 2XM modules. Yeah, and that's the way it works. Uh, I think it's pretty exciting. And um, <clears throat> if you want to play chords or if you want to hold notes and get no voice stealing, then you should use Free Robin. And yeah, then you can play it polyphonically. Yeah, and this is how it works. There are other options as well for polychaining the 2XMs um, or every other monosynth. Um, for instance, if you Google for polychaining and Logic Pro X, you will find a script, um, yeah, like a, a MIDI plugin for the scripter. Um, but I couldn't really get it working. That's why I didn't use it here for that video because... Um, yeah, I always had some voice stealing and it just didn't work as expected. And maybe for Ableton, there's also something like a Max for Life device. Yeah, there are also hardware options like this um, MIDI cable. What is it called? RK. RK. Yeah. On, retro, on retrokidspot.com, you can find this um, RK002 smart MIDI cable. Um that's also something you could use um, to polychain it in a better way than doing it with uh, the onboard polychaining. Because as of now, I, I just couldn't get it working. So, I mean, it works, but as I showed you, you only get two voices. And um, yeah, how much is it here? 50 bucks around, 50 bucks. I think that's pretty useful. So um, if you're like searching for a hardware option, you could try this one. 